Hi guys, this is my second YouTube channel, ITIC Universe. If you want to know about unique constants in Hindi, then go to this channel. Here you will get about unique constants in Hindi. I have also given their link in the description below. You can also go direct from that. And friends, do subscribe to this channel and give the same love to this channel as you have given to Dava CIT. In previous video, I told about not null constant and in today's video, I am going to explain about unique constraint. What actually a unique constraint is and why it is used in SQL Server. And also I will show you practically use of unique constraint query. But before starting, welcome to Dava CIT. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, do subscribe now and also press the bell icon to get notification of my latest videos. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Unique constraint. Unique constraint is known by the name that it stores unique value. I mean, unique constraint is nothing. It is just store a unique value. For an example, your mobile number and email ID. You know, your mobile number and email ID do not match any other one. Why? Because it is unique. The value must be a unique if use a unique constant. You know, you cannot enter duplicate value, okay? Whatever value you will insert in the table should be different, not repeated. In unique constraint, we have to keep three things in mind which is very important. First is, all values in a column must be unique. And the second is, it allow at least one null value. In unique constraint, we can enter at least one null value, not more than, okay? I will tell you further in practical. And the third one, which is very important, a table can have more than one set of unique keys. I mean, we can add multiple unique keys in one table, such as mobile number, email ID, pen card, other card, driving license. We can set a unique keys in all of these because all of them have such a unique number, unique ID that identifies that person. So when we create a table and if there are such requirement in that table, then we will use a unique key. But if we talk in case of students, 4th standard or 10th standard students, then we cannot consider mobile number and email ID as unique. Because sometimes what happens is that, you know, Two children of a house are in the same class and both give their father's mobile number or mother email ID due to which their mobile number and email ID become same and do not have uniqueness. So that we mostly do not use unique constant in mobile number and email ID if we talk about school. But if we talk about Facebook or employee of any company or talk about high level university or college that both mobile number and email id are unique this case we can use unique constant so let me show you through the table how exactly unique constant work in sql server create table employee underscore tbl bracket open and close within bracket type here employee id int employee name where care 50 email id where care 50 here we set a unique constant in email id okay unique look at this query i have created employee table and i have taken three columns here employee id employee name and email id right after executing this query table look like this right now there is no value inserted in the table it's totally blank right and I have used email ID as unique constant here. And now we insert the value into this table. So let's insert a value in the first row of this table. Like employee ID 1, employee name dawa and employee ID dawa at the rate gmail.com. Now tell me this value will be inserted into table or not. Yes this value will be inserted in the table okay but if we insert any value in second row like employee id 2 employee name rehan and here 
we will input same email id we will not change anything okay email id dawa at the rate gmail.com now tell me this value will be inserted into table or not no it will not be stored value in the table because we have set a unique key constant here in the column of email id so we cannot enter duplicate value in this column but if you want you can enter the same value you can enter duplicate value in the column of employee id and employee name but not in the column of email id like if we insert any value here in the third row employee id 1 employee name dawa here you see we have inserted the same value in the column of employee id and employee name as the value we have given here right and email id just we change here dr at the rate gmail.com even entering the duplicate value it will be inserted in the table because we inserted here value according to the rules of unique constant i mean we have not used unique constant in column of employee id and employee name so we can input duplicate value here you know employee id and employee name we can input duplicate value but in email id we cannot input duplicate value because we have used unique constant in column of email id this was a theoretically so now let me show you practically in sql server how to write a query of unique constant open sql server so let's first create database so click on new query and type here create database and database name i will type here database name like employee select all and execute command completed successfully this means database created let's see database see database created now type here use database name employee select all and execute now here we will create a table type here create table and table name employee underscore tbl bracket open and close within the bracket employee id int comma employee name where care 50 comma and email id email id where care 50 here we set unique constant in email id unique now select all and execute command completed successfully table created now let's see table select a star from table name what is my table name employee underscore tbl select all and execute see right now there is no value inserted in the table table is totally blank right now we will insert value in these three columns insert into table name employee underscore tbl values bracket open and close and type here employee id 1 comma single quotation mark employee name dawa single quotation mark and type here email id dawa at the rate gmail dot com select all and execute one row affected select all and execute 
say data inserted employee id 1 employee name dava and email id dava at the rate gmail.com the value inserted we will insert one more value okay but this time we will insert the same email id here okay so copy and paste employee id to employee name rehan the same email id we will insert here we will not change anything okay after that we will see what will be error okay so now select all and execute see violation of unique key constant cannot insert duplicate key in object employee tbl i mean you can't enter duplicate value in email id column because this email id is already present because this email id is already exist in this column so data is not being inserted as soon as i change here let's suppose dr at the rate gmail.com now let's execute this query one row affected see the value inserted into this table employee id to employee name rehan email id dr at the rate gmail.com you know we cannot insert the same value again in the column of email id I mean which value is already present in the column of email id that value we cannot enter again but in employee id and in name column we can enter the same value of 100 times no error issue we will not change here anything in employee id and in name column we will only change email id value instead of dr at the rate gmail.com so we'll type here pr at the rate gmail.com now let's execute this query see one row affected so let's see whether the value we have given right now this value is inserted into table or not select all and execute look at here 2 is already present in employee ID column still this value is inserted in table right in the same way in a name column Rihan, which is already exist even this value is also inserted in table but why not in email id i mean when we insert the same value here in email id column then value is not inserted why because we have used unique constraint in email id column so we can't enter duplicate value in this column okay unique constraint allow only one null value in the theoretical part we told that in unique constraint we can store at least one null value how we will show you in practical so let's input a null value in email id and you l let's see after executing this query it shows error or this value is stored in table let's execute see one row affected that means this value has been inserted in the table let's check the table see a null value is stored in email id column right in the column of email id a null value is stored now again I insert another null value in the same column and see what error comes employee id 3 employee name i use and email id leave it this column okay because i want to store a null value again okay now let's execute this query then let's see what will be error see violation of unique key constant cannot insert duplicate key in employee table that means we cannot store more than one null value i mean when we use unique constant then we can store at least one null value not more than one this was a unique constraint in the next video we'll discuss about primary key constraint hope you liked thank you so much for watching